Howdy folks, welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Wow, he is flying. <laughs> Got a hired hand. Uh, he's going to go ahead and mow that field there for us. He is getting right with it. In the meantime, you'll never guess what we're doing today. That's right, we're going to do some logging. We're down here by the sheep farm and we're going to start logging this off. I've got pretty much all the equipment down here. Uh, we're going to start by cleaning up some rocks. Getting those out of the way and then you'll see down there. Got some uh, support posts built up. We're going to try to pile all the lumber down there. Not the lumber, all the logs. And then we can get them loaded on a trailer. Get our flashies on. A little bit of an overcast day today. A little, a little dreary. But uh, I've been busy, as you can see, by the old bank account there. Been uh, selling product. Wee! Tipping over the front wheel loaders <laughs> been uh, selling product and running the tree delivery missions been keeping busy so we can buy some equipment here at some point but I don't really know what I need to buy right now for what we're doing we've got pretty much everything we need but I might take a look at some of the platinum DLC stuff See how that goes, which reminds me, I need to check. I don't think I've checked the sales today. I haven't. One thing they've got is this uh, Corpus 900, which we don't really need. Uh, they've had some stuff. Oh, what did they have? They had something the other day that I almost bought and I didn't. It was a really good deal. I can't remember what it was now. But it was farm equipment and we're not, we're not really doing farming on this series. Pretty much all about uh, the logging. I wish I could figure out why this will not pick up sometimes. And you just kind of play around with the angle and it eventually picks up. Okay, well, whatever. We'll go with 89%. We'll call that good enough. So these rocks are here from where I busted up the, uh, the big boulders. And I just never cleaned those out yet. Yeah, we're getting a pretty good pile of gravel going here. Don't end up tipping over. I thought about using the big wheel loader, but I already, already had it set up with the log forks, so... We're going to go with that, and we'll just use this little guy for the gravel. Man, he is smoking around that field. Yeah, as long as he's getting her cut, I guess that's all that matters. He's going to get that cut. I'll just have him go ahead and rake it as well. So I might have to pause here for a bit. Get him sorted out. The backup beeper on this is so faint, I don't know if I even noticed it beep before. It's not, it's not really annoying at all. Can I see any better from the cab? Probably not. Not without track IR. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little leafy back in here. I think I'm even picking that up because I got to tilt my bucket down so far. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. Found the tree. Yeah, I might just call that good enough. This thing's sounding a little rough. Let's check the... Yeah, I just repaired it. Maybe I got used to the bigger wheel loader sounds. So one thing I've noticed, um, if we take a look at the forecast, I don't know if this is just silver runs just broken, but like it's 70 degrees in December. Like the lowest we get is 42 and then it's right back, you know, into the fifties and stuff. I don't know how people are getting snow on this map. There's no way I'm going to have any snow this winter, uh, but it seems kind of broken. 
So that's unfortunate. I was really looking forward to some snow. But I'm not sure if we'll ever get snow. It's hard to have snow on the ground when it's 70 degrees in the wintertime. And as far as I know, there's no mods that like change the weather. So don't know if I'm just unlucky or what's going on. All right, I think that might be most of the gravel, so we can get started on cutting trees. So my thought was to cut them down with the tree harvester, and then uh, we'll get the track. Oh, I got this gravel here. We'll get the tractor over here with the winch and pull them over there and then we'll load them with the big wheel loader that's my tentative plan anyway why are you not picking up there you go so yeah it's 10 51 in the morning but i almost feel like i need some lights on like i said it's kind of kind of a dreary day all right there may be more rock piles around but it's a good start here. So let's go dump this. And then we'll hop in the wood harvester and get rocking and rolling. We cover up that little pine tree a little bit. That's okay. You can see I'm still in my shirt sleeves. Thought I'd have to have a jacket by this time of year, but nope. It is warm out. So let's just park this guy here. That guy, yeah, he's just flying through. I think his I think his name was Jeff. Guy over in town they recommended for doing some hired hand stuff. He knows how to make that tractor fly, that's for sure. So what I thought is I would kind of start here, get this cleared out, because we're going to be running back and forth a lot here. So let's just get some of these trees just right in here, knocked down. Go and turn these lights on as well. Now this may be too large. Nope, it, sa it says we're okay. All right. Well, that's, that's pushing the limits for sure. All right, hold the brakes on, let her fall. <laughs> farm sim being farms, farm sim, we get some brake lights or reverse lights. All right, we're still set for six meter. I keep going back and forth. I'm tempted to do longer logs, but I'd have to get a different trailer. So I guess we'll just go for we'll just go for six meter. That's what we're set up for on the trailer, so that'll work. Come on, back forward we go. Wait, it turns off the lights when you turn the head? That's dumb. Okay. Well, whatever. I was, I was like, I thought I had the lights on. Let's get moved back up. I rolled back there a little too far. So I thought about setting up the yarder down here, but I think we'll just use the tractor and the winch. Use the keyboard here. It's faster to swing it around with the keyboard.
So this is pretty much the biggest tree harvester, except for the one that's three quarters of a million dollars. I think maybe it is a little more powerful. I don't, I don't really want the feller, the feller buncher thingy because it looks like it's not really implemented very well from some other videos I've seen. So I really don't know what we're going to buy next. We'll just play it by ear. So we got uh, we got a pretty good set of equipment right now. Pretty happy with it. I want to get one of the tracked harvesters at some point. Uh, but that's a pretty big investment. So let me know. Have you had good luck with the tracked tree harvesters? Since this thing is a pretty large machine, actually, let's go around this way. I think I would probably want to get the the bigger of the tracked tree harvesters. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not get let's not get too carried away here. But we're doing all right in the money department. Got a lot of products rolling out. I bring up the production overview. A little bit hard to see there, but you can see the uh, sawmill still got 58% wood. Uh, the spinnery is getting a little low. It's only got 11% wool. Now I did do a cotton harvest mission and it looks like it's taken that cotton from the mission and turning it into fabric, which we can sell, which is cool. So that's why it still has 6% cotton left. Uh, the paper factory is getting pretty low. It's only got 6% wood. So we do need to deliver some of this wood uh, to our sawmills, not just sell it all. Or to the sawmill and the paper factory. But we're going to get a lot of lumber off this plot. It's, it's a pretty good size. Chunk of land, pretty thick trees. And I haven't decided what I want to do here yet. Although it's got this nice lake. I mean, we could even turn it into our like house area if we wanted to. This is dead wood, so it's pretty much worthless. Let's we'll start making another pile over here. What's he doing? Oh, he's done. Good job, Jeff. Is this another? Yeah, this is another dead tree. Well, we'll just set it right over here. that turned off so right, let me hop out i'm gonna go talk to jeff uh, i'm gonna get him going on the rake and then we'll get right back into the uh the woodwork all right we got a big in here we got uh we got jeff hooked up with the rake looks like he decided to start on that side of the field so let's let him do his thing Oh boy, not right through the side of the machine. <laughs> so yeah, the tracked the tracked harvester. I'm thinking that would be a lot better for some of the more rugged places we may end up when we buy some more land. So that's probably the route I'll go down. We got back in here. A nice big juicy tree.
There he goes. Alright, he does not use the rake. Good deal. Uh, we'll see what else. Oh, I did sell off uh, about 50 sheep. Because we've got a bunch getting ready to uh, to have lambs. So we'll see how that turns out. Let's get another big one back in here. I kind of wish the, uh, the bulldozer had a winch on it. Because that would make a nice uh, setup for getting these bigger trees out of here. And getting a bunch of logs drug over. Like, this is the biggest tree harvester, I think. So you go tracked. And it could just barely handle some of these big trees. You can see we're just about... Just about tipping over... <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, get in there. Come on, get up off the ground so you can actually cut. Ah, you shoved a log out of the way. That's no good. Oh boy. Jeff's going to make a big old windrow for us. Kind of making a little bit of a mess here. I mean, I could try coming over here with the front loader and see if I can get a grab, but I think we may need to organize this a bit more, but Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. Let's get in the right gear. Let's get this up here out of the way. And yeah, I'll go ahead and shut you off. Because I will need to get the truck moved over here at some point. Though I could, I could use the dozer just to manipulate the logs. So let's try that. Let's try to get the logs into a little bit neater pile. Got this thing repaired as well, so it's in pretty good shape. I'm really liking this old dozer. It's it doesn't look pretty. It belches black smoke everywhere, but you know it gets the job done. It always starts. Oh boy, Jeff. How am I supposed to bail that? Eh, it's hard to find good help these days. What are you going to do? Alright, let's see if we can get this pushed over there. We'll make a wood skitter out of it. <laughs> it's our it's our big yellow log skitter. And it's looking a little more like a pile. It's looking a little more like something we could get a hold of with the uh, log forks. Alright, 
Let's let that idle there. I've got a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but I have a plan. And then we're going to use this as our backstop. Well, that's actually against that tree. Interesting. So that little bitty tiny tree actually has collision. All right. Then let's hop in the big boy here and see if we can get a load of logs picked up. I spent quite a bit of money. You can see these are all pretty much repaired. But I've been trying to keep everything in fairly good repair because I think that's cheaper in the long run. If you let it go, it just ends up costing you more. Close that. Come on. It's not not wanting to cooperate. Eh, I mean that's not terrible. <laughs> oh, farm sim. You are funny. It's got the most annoying backup sound in the world. I guess it gets your attention. So maybe we can put some there and then we can get a better grip on them. This thing will really get to moving. Be careful. Get that much machine moving, you can get in trouble in a hurry. All right, and I don't want to grip the bucket on that machine. I don't feel like any of these log forks really work that well. But part of it could be me. That'd be perfect if I could close it now. out there. Now the log fork on the skid steer works really, really well, but of course you can only do one log at a time. So there is that, and I used, I had a really good log fork in 17 and 19, but it has not been converted to 22. Couldn't find it anywhere. And I could convert it, but I'd rather be playing games in my limited amount of time that I have. So we might be better, better off going with my first thought, which was just use the tractor and the winch to get him down there to the uh, stop post. and then load with this. <laughs> uh, I don't think this load is going to make it all the way. Some of it's going to bounce out.
That's pretty close. Pretty close. All right, how's Fred doing? One measly log left. All right, he's getting getting along pretty well. Get the dozer over out of the way. Then I'm gonna have to uh, jog over. I think I think I left the tr yeah the trucks over there, just across the highway at the sawmill. So I'll just jog over there and get that. There we go. You sit there. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get this thing painted. Poor dozer. All right, back in a bit. All right, Fred's over there doing just a bang up job at raking. <laughs> He's got the world's largest windrows. All right, let's put that tree kind of right in the middle. And let's turn off our blinker. There we go. We got everything idling away, burning fuel. It's okay, we're going to get some stuff done. Let's see if we can get some of these logs on the truck. Yeah, if it's going to give us too many problems, there's always auto load. See, so you're supposed to be able to like scoop, scoop them up with that, but it just it doesn't. It doesn't really work that well. And then you get all kinds of weird like physics stuff going on. Hang in there, logs. This is going to end in tears. <laughs> well, that's not even straight. At least we got enough junk in our trunk we can do this. Now, I was telling that to open and then it closed. That was really strange. I mean, that's actually not too bad. I'm kind of okay with that. It's a little bit all over the place, but I can hop in there with the PV and adjust that. But that's exactly what these support posts are good for. This right here. There, see, that was just the right size. That didn't work too bad. This doesn't have the cool blinky lights on top. It's one thing it's missing. I think that might have been an, an option. Uh, but I didn't want to spend the extra money at the time. Okay, it's opening this time, so that's... A bonus. That was fun. That was accelerating without me pushing the key. All right. No, no weird log errors. So, not sure what that was all about. Uh, all right. If we just tie this down call it a day how uh, how bad is it can we live with that yeah I don't think that's completely dangerous we do have this sticking back there you know what's sticking back there's nothing sticking back there it's fine all right one piece loaded. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. How's Fred doing? I want to get this stuff bailed today. It's only one o'clock. Looks like he's about finished up. And I think I will use the tractor and the winch to move the rest of these. So let's get this stuff shut down. 
Build Mac, you can actually shut down. And I'm going to do some more cutting after I get the baling done. Get some of these logs sent off to where they need to go. Just pull that up again here. So everything's been producing pretty nice. And we've been making us some money. But I think I've got everything set back to store now. I don't remember where I was at last video. I've gone back to storing. And we're just going to go sell. I had it selling... But I think you only get like half or three quarters of the profit when you do it that way. But it was easier to just let it roll through for a while. I didn't have to worry about carting stuff around. Uh, but we are we are storing everything we're making now. So have to go around, make the rounds and get all the pallets and go sell them. But anyway, I think that'll be it for this video. We're just going to continue logging this off. And uh, yeah, the adventure here on Silver Run Forest continues. Thanks as always for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Yeah, you tell them, sheep. You tell them.